So, uh, we're done and dusted with the 2019 edition of the Africa Investment Forum in South Africa. But just as the delegates were returning back home to their various countries, Channel Television South Africa Bureau Chief Betty Divia uh, got a few minutes to spare, uh, or was able to get a few minutes from Dr. Akuma Adishina, the head of the EFDB, for a few questions about what has been achieved and where does the EFDB and the AIF in particular go from here. What are the key achievements this time coming from last year, where there was a lot of noise as well? Well, first and foremost is just the amount of participation globally in this forum. In this forum. You know, this year we have 2,038 participants from around the world. You've got 109 countries represented, you know, 48 of those from Africa and, you know, uh, 61 of those uh, coming from outside of Africa. And what for me is particularly exciting is to have 1,600 investors that are coming out of outside of Africa into this particular uh, 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 forum. And we have great participation from African heads of state in their boardroom sessions. And most importantly, is the amount of transactions that are actually going on. You know, last year when we had this forum, it was the first time, and we had roughly about, we did about $38.7 billion of, of deals with expression of interest by investors in less than 72 hours. We had about 40, uh, three, uh, $48 billion of investments going into the transaction boardrooms. This year, we have a record $67 billion of transactions going into the investment boardroom. So by all measures, this is bigger, better, and rewarded participation from around the world than even last year. Okay, for those who are worried about any strings attached, unseen, unseen, what would you have to say? Well, this is, uh, it doesn't get more transparent than this. This is actually like glass, right? Because you have us, Africa's, Africa's Devel African Development Bank, Africa's number one financial institutions, with triple A rated. We also have a platform that brought together a lot of our partners, including AFC, Nigeria, Africa 50, Development Bank, uh, uh, of South Africa, uh, we have Islamic Development Bank, we have Trade Development Bank, we have European Investment Bank, and several others. And so this is, a this is a platform in which every single thing is transparent. And we also do a lot of due diligence in terms of the projects to be sure that environmental and social safeguard issues are addressed. And also for the governments, uh, that uh, it's very unique in this forum that the governments themselves commit to make sure that where their invest, these investments are going to land are provided with the right legal, uh, business, investment, regulatory environment for them to thrive. Right. ADB's projects in Nigeria, I know this time here, Nigeria came with three major um, projects. Uh, how much development or how much progress are some of the projects Nigeria, uh, the ADB, is involved in Nigeria? Well, first and foremost, let me say that we had four governors from Nigeria uh, that, were, uh, that were here. We have the governor of Abia State, the governor of Cross River State, we have the governor of AKT and the governor of Kwana State. And they are doing well because they participated in uh, several of the boardroom conversations. And so all the feedbacks have been great. You know, Nigeria has tremendous amount of potential. And our responsibility for Nigeria as Africa's largest economy and also the largest uh, shareholder of the African Development Bank is to make transactions happen to help Nigeria on energy, to help Nigeria with regard to uh, investment in agriculture uh, with development of what we call special agro-industrial processing zones that will allow Nigeria to be able to turn agriculture into mega business, right, with regionally competitive value chains being developed for it. And also we've been discussing in the boardrooms about deep sea port development in Nigeria and also development in terms of energy uh, in Nigeria. So these are the areas and they're getting a lot of traction you know, during this particular Africa Investment Forum.